Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, good morning. I'm Candace. Welcome back. It's Thursday morning here in the shed. Thursday morning, and uh, we're kind of excited. Well, I, I used are? I used the royal we. I think. <laughs> what are we excited about? Our our spreadsheet. Our anniversary is today. No, that too. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting to see what you said. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited about a spread. Yeah, it is our anniversary too. How many? It's 21, right? Yes, yeah, 21 years. 21 years yeah. today. Yeah. Never a. Well, no, I can't say that. <laughs> Whoa! I'm trying to get Just a start hair grabbing. off of you. You have a strange blue hair on you. Oh, it's some other blue hair lady, probably. <laughs> Lonnie is wearing his shirt. I gave him. That's why she. That's why you have that the color, the strange color hair. See, so if you see a hair on me, I can tell if it's mine or not. Immediately. Although I still find like random stray hairs every once in a while of different hair color I had. Like on a piece of clothing in oh, the do closet. You? Oh, or yeah. You know? Oh, this is. Oh, this must be from 2020. <laughs> I haven't worn this since 2020. Oh, no. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this morning I sat down for 20, 30 minutes and I reworked the spreadsheet. Candace got the rough, uh, the idea of it mm -hmm. together. And I, we we're keeping the same idea, just kind of reformatted it. Still going to make a few tweaks. Like she wants to make every other row a different color so we can kind of tell what, which ones are the half half hours here. Yeah. But uh, this is our this is our idea. I'm going to keep it right here. It's the same. It doesn't show anymore. I know, I'm just kind of. Yeah. And um, we're going to fill up all of our our time slots. We're on Thursday right now. These are some of this. I think Candace did some of this yesterday, maybe. So what he did also was as we enter in here, it tallies up the items and the amount for us. It does it automatically. Right. And so then, that's pretty cool. And then uh, it adds the item count and the dollar amount. For the weekly. Time. Total for the week yeah. over here on the right also. Yeah. Of course, this week it's not going to be real pretty because we don't have data over here. And we didn't start it till Tuesday anyway. So, but right. yeah. It'll be, and we're going to keep them. It'll be interesting to see our weekly and monthly totals all in one snapshot, you know? Yeah, it's, and look, if you say that, you know, that's kind of a waste of time, it kind of is. But really, this is, this is going to replace the whiteboard. No, no, not only that, but it takes like a half a second to type in your number over there. Yeah, I, for me, this provide satisfaction yeah we like seeing our numbers right you like to see building like okay not on my listing this widget but i'm building towards some other thing and this is a shared spreadsheet candace has it over there yeah so like this is the project that we're working on together if that makes any sense yeah so i i don't know i for me that that like tracking like this in this fashion it just provides motivation. Yeah. Now the scheduled listings, who knows if that's going to make a difference or not? I think it, uh, during the week it may not, but I'm hoping it'll help on the weekends. I think it's stuff getting listed. You yeah, know? activity on the weekends, and I don't know. I can't say. I've been asked several times, you know, or I've had other, you know, people say, "Does it matter if you list like, let's say, at the beginning of the week, you list a hundred things on Monday?" and you don't list anything the rest of the week or maybe you make drafts all week and then the next monday you drop another hundred things is that any better than spreading them out is that any better than spreading them out and on one hand you could say well yes it is because starting monday all all the items are available to buy yeah you know but the thing that you don't know is how does ebay handle that type of at that versus everyday activity right like who knows and i'm not saying either one is better right right but we're willing to try yeah so um i do know that i, I will never bank a lot of drafts again we just we got burnt and I, i'm not willing to do oh that. i'm not either yeah unless we did it somewhere else because i know there are like third-party sites where you can but store then aren't you giving them access to your ebay yeah but that's account? yeah but i mean that that's just the way it is yeah, yeah they get api access to ebay for to and but you know on the other hand if you use one of those services like there's a bunch of them 
list per perfectly ink fraud all this other stuff right uh that like let's say the listings did disappear they would still have them they would still have them and then you could like submit them up there again you, all your photos and everything would still be there so i i see i get that i just I, i'm leery about giving that information out you know are you yeah. I'm, I'm really not that much not for like a established company no. but i we're not going to do anything like that for the time being though um we also had a question here on on the uh facebook group this link below i i made a post there saying let me scroll up here i made a post there saying reminder today is the first day we no longer have to pay a dime for scheduled listings on ebay pretty happy about that we had a really good question on that post lonnie can we bulk edit our drafts to add schedule or is it going to have to be one at a time so i had no idea because we don't work with drafts very often but i'm like oh let me try that's a good question like let's say you have a bunch of drafts and now you want to get them up on you know active but you want to schedule the listings out so i went to drafts and i'll go ahead and do that now and show y'all we have some drafts here that are basically just like uh these are basically like where we started doing a listing and stopped and then closed it for whatever reason. Yeah, like I just listed this. I have no idea why there's a draft there because I just listed it. it. And I might, I opened this page earlier, so it might just be that it was saved as a draft, auto draft. Yeah, I don't know why some things save as drafts and some don't. I, it was because you were in the middle of working on it, I think. But, um, as a matter of fact, if I refresh this, I'll bet it's eight instead. Of, yeah, see, it took okay. it out because okay. you completed it. But let's say these were all completed drafts that I wanted to go ahead and get scheduled to actually list. You can resume drafts. And then now uh, we have all kind of red because these are not like some of them don't have pictures or right anything. they're not they're not completed listings but you can still get the idea just select them bulk edit start time schedule yeah. then you could schedule a start time and then look here's the cool thing since we have all these selected you could start at say let's say we wanted to start at like 3 p.m today dropping these things but let's just say for instance that was eight valuable Hot Wheel cars that we wanted to start auction. They were all auctions, right, say. Right. And we wanted to like like Not you have them ending all at the same time. Right, because the same buyers might be interested in the same ones. You don't want them to. You want them to have time com to comfortably go from listing to listing as they as they you know end. So you can actually just use this to automatically space them out. By however many minutes you want up to an hour starting at this start time up yeah. to an hour yeah and then it'll just like space them out automatically to me that is beautiful yeah and then nice. now now the scheduled listings don't even they don't cost a dime and i don't mean that like figuratively they literally don't cost a dime anymore right so yeah that's uh you know what i'm gonna stop talking about scheduled listings after this but i did think that was cool mm -hmm. that that came out that information came out of a reply to a post i made in the facebook group i learned this and i think a lot of people may not know this yeah that's powerful right especially if you run a lot of auctions mm -hmm. so all right we do have uh i think like 13 orders, yeah. 13 orders to pull this morning and uh we need to go ahead and get started because i've been i've been screwing around with this spreadsheet and all this other stuff we need to get to work yeah all righty time to pull some orders you ready candace i'm ready let's go alien drawer god of war PSP. yeah yeah this was a nice little uh little nugget in the 90 dollar box i bought 60 games from beverly for 90 dollars mm. most of them were real were pretty common yeah uh but this one was pretty good so $33 for that. Nice. And the cube. Okay. A Canon camcorder. Oh yeah. And Candace. Bonnie. 
this is going to be your pack for today because okay. this is something that needs a little bit of padding and stuff yeah. like you haven't really done Candace was telling me yesterday that she's only done stuff that was not fragile and this is not super fragile but uh it will require a little bit of extra padding anyway that was sixty dollars that came I think that might have no I think we already had no I bought that somewhere else for like five dollars or something I didn't buy probably that from, a garage sale. yeah probably so all right, time to go to the penthouse. Oh, Pam. Pam. Pam, Pam, Pam. Pam, Pam. 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 All right. After this, there's only one left. So there should be two Pams in here? Yeah. So if you want a Pam, now's the time. <laughs> well, maybe by the time the video comes out, there may not be any. Man, it's crazy. They were selling like super fast at first, and then they just came to almost a halt. Mm -hmm. All right. $15 for that. Good. Alrighty. All right, we have some video games on this next order. There's three of them. Oh, three on the same order? Yes. Okay. Ten Charlie Elder Scrolls PS3. And they're all in uh they're all in a different location. That's exactly. interesting. Ten Charlie Elder Scrolls for PS3. Yep. Okay. This box is a little tight. Well, it's gonna be one of these, I guess. This honored. It's PS4. Uh, is it Skyrim? Yeah. Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Okay, cool. And six Bravo Final Fantasy VIII. Six Bravo Final Fantasy VIII PS3. for PS3. And okay. then an MU8 Star Wars Battlefront for PS4. Ma8. Ma8. For PS4, Star Wars, Battlefront. All three of those together were $23.97. All right. All right. Another game on 10, Charlie, Monopoly Family Fun Pack. Okay, that, that came from the Bev buy. Monopoly. What, uh, what platform? Oh, wait, never mind. I got it. PS4, right? Yep. $8 for that. Okay. Again on 10, Charlie, Dragon Age for PS4. Dragon Age. Good, that's going to make a little room because I have to drop a few more games. Dragon Age Inquisition. Yep. $8. Alrighty. One Charlie, a uh, red backgammon set. One, oh. Yeah, I saw a backgammon set sell. I didn't realize we had any listed. I guess it must be this one. Yeah, it's kind of. Red velour. Yeah, it's cool. $18.74. Yeah, that's a good one there. Yeah, we liked that one when we saw it. It's different. Oh, where did we get this? At an estate sale, I think. Estate sale? Oh, yeah, this one is nice. Yeah. Yeah, that is a nice one. I'm oohing and on over this. <laughs> you know, it was. This is velour. I think my dad had a conversion van that uh, the mm -hmm. interior looked kind of like that at one point. <laughs> yeah. I remember that. Name. All, All right. right. Um, in the D and D drawer, two Vampirella promo cards. D and D, two Vampirella. They're big cards. I believe this is it right here. Uh, Twenty dollars for those. It, are they $19.99? Uh, yes. How much P1, shipping? P1 and P6. How much shipping do we charge on these? Uh, let me see. Out of curiosity, I'm kind of kind of hoping these are not eBay standard envelope. No, because shipping's like, they pay almost $4 shipping. Okay, good. Good, because I don't want to send these eBay, especially since they're in this like okay. dual... Yeah, it's a dual, special size. Dual top load thing? Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. All righty. All right, I saw the uh, Crisco cookbook pamphlet on 5 Delta R1. 5 Delta R1. Oh, here it is. 1940s housewife cookbook. Recipes for good eating. That's from 1945. That's By a, Crisco. That's an old book. Think about it. Wait, what year? 1945. That's the year the war ended. 
That's wow. over fifteen dollars. Candace, this thing is almost eighty. This book is almost eighty freaking years old. I know. Wow. I know. Oh my gosh, Candace, if that little girl is still alive, she's like ninety something right now. Or, or nine, yeah, or, or right at 95 90. 95 to 90, yeah. That's nuts. Yeah. Okay. Man, when you really put that those dates in perspective. Mm -hmm. All right, we have a Flare Marvel card on 4 Bravo B86. 4 Bravo B86. It's a little warmish today, y'all. We're in that time of year. Well, it's always, it seems like it's always that time of year. But we're gonna be running air conditioner today and I think we have a little cold snap coming the next couple yeah, of days and yeah. it's gonna warm up again. I think we might be about to warm up for good here though. Coming. I don't know. We always have a good freeze before Easter. Seems we'll like. see. Five dollars for that card. Right on. Uh, that, by the way, that is power blast of uh thanos is that what you have oh, sorry. uh yes okay cool so um the rest of our items are records we're gonna save those for the next round go ahead and get these packed up okay yep and i'm gonna save the camcorder for you yep all right all right, uh, we forgot to pull a cookbook on six Bravo, putting on the grits. Putting on the grits. Here we go. Junior League of Columbia, South Carolina. That's a cool book. Yep, that's all for $9.99. All right, so we have um, some records. We have six records on two different orders, all going to the same buyer. It's one. It's going to be one order by the time I'm done. Yes. Uh, Culture Club. Do you really want to hurt me? Let's see. Culture Club. Is it here? It's a white. Oh, it's white? Yeah. It might be this one up here then, because I have one that was white. Let me take a look. It's just pure white, pretty much. Yeah, Culture Club. Do you really want to hurt me? Yep. Greg Ken Band. It's a, like a black. I got it right here. Okay. Jeopardy. Banana Rama. It says Banana Rama real big. Oh. Banana Rama real big. I heard a rumor. Yep. Okay. Lamal, never any story. That's that crazy looking cover. Yeah, man. That, I used to love that. I still, I still do. I mean, who doesn't like that song? And that movie. I remember going to see that movie with my dad when I was a kid. Oh, when the horse died. Oh! Yeah, man. I need. We need to watch that again sometime. Cure or something like that was his name. Uh. A Wait, horse. a horse. It was a dragon, right? No, like a his fluffy. Horse, his horse died, got sucked into the swamp mud. Oh, that's right. I I, man, I don't remember it that well. Man, I cried. What I, was that big? A Treyu? Was that the big fluffy thing that he rode around? No, a Treyu was actually the boy, I think. Oh, well, what was the big fluffy thing called? Oh, my gosh. I don't remember. That, they could tell us in the comments because I forget. No. I, my memory sucks. Okay, what's next? Thompson Twins. Lay your hands on me. Okay. Thompson Twins. Thompson Twins, lay your hands on me. Yes. Okay. Pet Shop Boys, West End Girl. Pet Shop Boys. Boy, that, man, what a song that was. Such a good song. Okay. Okay, that's everything. Uh, 51, 80, about $84. About $84 worth that's of records here? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yep. Okay, cool. And then I have this stack left i'm gonna probably do about at least half of those today because i also want to get like uh definitely i have a little translator thing i'm gonna list test and list and then i want to do the typewriter today too I, i've got to mix in some stuff yeah, right we like to do a variety and then we have uh some video game stuff i might still work with yeah. so all right we're gonna get oh candace you need to pack your camera i'm gonna pack my camera all right, Candace, you ready? I'm ready. Pack it. All right, so we've got a, uh, it's going priority, of course. We've got this little priority box here. It's like a square box, huh? It is, it's kind of square -ish. I don't think I've seen these before. Yeah, I don't use those very often. I, well, not near as much now, anyway. Okay. 
Yep. That other side, they didn't meet. Yeah, I saw that. First, I'm going to bubble wrap the items. I'm just going to kind of roll it up. Sometimes what I'll do is after I get that first little roll going, I'll kind of tuck it in mm -hmm. a little bit. And then that gives a little, you see what I'm saying? That'll give you a little extra padding and it won't, you won't, it won't have a bunch of void on the sides that way. Or not void, but just, you know. Yeah. You see, and that way you get double coverage on the bubble wrap right there, too. Cushion. Yep. Set that in there. And then some more paper on top. You think that's enough? I think so. Okay. Right, now, what I would do, though, put, go ahead and put your card in there. Put your card on top. And then just close the flaps up. Okay. I would do it the side of the flaps. And then hold the flaps down like they would be when they're taped and pick your box up and just give it a nice little shake hard shake kind of that's, that's too much movement yeah. i would go ahead and get you another piece of paper as a matter of fact what you may want to do pull put, that out put one and then on the take bottom. just the camera mm -hmm. wrap it in a piece of paper okay loosely if if that makes any sense kind of a crumply wrap okay. yeah Exactly, and then drop that right in the middle. This is not near as crucial. I'm Whatever. Tuck in right there yep. Maybe. Okay. Then a crumply wrap. Yep. All right. Now shake it. Yep. Good. Yeah. Because yeah, the. Uh, Padding, you want to pad it, of course, because like if the box takes a hit or something like that, you want to give it a good chance. But really, the the most important thing is to make sure your stuff doesn't move in there. That's where most of the damage can occur. All right. All right, it's one point two, so it's gonna be two pounds. Two pounder. Yeah. Which we have. You're already set. Those dimensions are good. Everything's good, yeah. Okay. Two pounds. We have 888 in there, which is that's close enough. USPS priority 994, $9.94, headed to Joyzy. We get back here so we don't get too too much resolution on the label. Did it stick? Uh, I have to reprint it. Well, no, you're, you're good. Probably. Unless, if it didn't tear, you're fine. It didn't tear at all. Yeah. Because it was on the tape. Those labels are cheap, but they're they're really good. Okay. As a matter of fact, you know, I saw... Um, I saw... Speaking of labels, I saw someone in the Facebook group, I think Sarah, asking about... Uh, Thermal yeah, printer? Yeah, printers, yeah. Thermal printer. And I saw somebody down below, and it, it reminded me of me. I stayed out of it because I don't want to, like... Yeah. It, it kind of reminded me of me before I got the thermal, and I was cutting, la you know, printing and cutting labels and taping them down. I did that for quite a while. Yeah. I'm like, oh, this is good enough. And the, I saw the guy saying the exact same thing. And I get it. Like, 
you get used to I how you that someone said it takes them 10 to 15 seconds right and i don't want to i'm not trying to call them out because i was very they may be able to I know maybe I they can yeah. but i was very resistant to the um that okay. label away from me i don't want to show it <laughs> Uh, I was very resistant to getting the, the thermal printer and once I got it I was like man I wish I would have got this sooner I'm not saying that you should get one when you first start because you certainly don't need it but the thing that most surprised me once I did get that thermal printer is how much less tape I used uh, you don't really because I saw the person mention like the cost of the labels those labels cost like a penny right and the tape I w used to use to attach just the paper I would mm -hmm. print the labels on would cost more than those labels cost Got that it. have the adhesive already on them. Yeah. You don't realize how much time and tape you d you use whenever you tape the labels on. Yeah. And tape is kind of expensive. It is. So and you have to tape down all four edges. Right. Yeah. Right. And then it's not to me it's not as good yeah. as just the label you you stick on there right so now what i have used before in the past two were the and we still have some if we need them back labels the, the two per you sheet run through a printer yeah right two per sheet those are pretty good those are a step up from just taping the yeah, labels that's on that's probably what i would do if i didn't want to buy a thermal label. right right but taping labels on sucks cutting and taping labels ugh. I'm, never, I'm not good at cutting anyway i can't cut straight lines i don't want to have to cut a label out every time <laughs> <laughs> but it's always interesting to see those conversations about printers yeah in, in those groups and also people are very strongly believe in what type they oh yeah brand. rollo versus dymo yeah. and, and typically it's going to be whichever one you happen to own right <laughs> right yeah. zebra for the win you know or, or whatever yeah. so i don't get into that too much yeah. all i know is that thing is printed tens of thousands of labels and i'm not going to re if it ever breaks, maybe I get another brand. I don't care. I'm not loyal to them. Yeah. Because you know what Dymo does now? Man, right. this is going on and on. Dymo actually puts a chip or in, like a NFC thing or whatever into their labels now on their newer, newer model, the one that replaced that model. Uh -huh. And you can only use Dymo brand labels in their printers. You gotcha. can't use a third party and their labels are like prohibitively expensive so if we did have to buy a new unit it probably would not it be would that. not be a dymo yeah unless we found one an older one yeah i would probably get a rollo or so or maybe I, you know actually i'd probably get a zebra i'd probably get like a a, a used industrial type zebra because those things are built like tanks ah, okay. so anyway good job thanks all right it is uh afternoon now early afternoon or mid-afternoon i guess early yeah Yes, it's like two o'clock. <laughs> yeah, Candace been working with uh, these baby clothes, huh? Or doll clothes, whatever. Yeah, so I found two vintage Cabbage Patch outfits in there. I listed those together for twenty five, and then the rest of this on um, lotting up, it's like vintage infant dresses and rompers. It's going to be between thirty to forty five dollars for this lot. Okay. So um, I just listed that LSU pennant. We decided to try for a hundred yeah just based on comps and um you know just what's out there the really good ones i mean that's good don't get me wrong but the like the big big money ones would have like um sugar bowl on them or national champions of course well the the one from well they had okay but like back in the 50s lsu had a second string oh yeah of players <laughs> that they would bring in every now and then to just go nuts right get get turnovers whatever and they call them it's like a bunch of honey badgers basically <laughs> it's a bunch of scrappers you know like yeah. they weren't real skilled or anything they were scared but they were they were go-getters and yeah. they called these guys the chinese bandits and uh obviously that would not fly today but yeah. that the the pennants that have those guys mention those guys they can go for like 350 or whatever yeah and so. i saw one um national championship one that went to, for almost 600 at auction yeah so but hey i'm i'm happy with ours it's cool pennant um yeah it's this one right here i'll show y'all these are uh some of our scheduled listings here this is the one that candace listed right here yeah 
and it, it def i mean it's old for sure but it man it the graphics are just like super crisp yeah, it's look. real clean it's got two little nicks at the bottom that's the only imperfection yeah right there you can yeah. see them. yeah that, that's cool and um i think our i think our uh our scheduled listing thing is going pretty good are you happy with it yeah i am i, I, I love how you made it where it totals everything up for us uh, i like how you did uh candace went in and changed the colors of the rose yeah. and it, it looks like those uh ledger books now mm -hmm. you know what i'm talking about yeah so that's perfect and then um like you can see i'm i try to kind of stick to the 30s unless i need to help fill in here yeah. or there yeah um i've got another batch of records i'm doing now i think i have about i don't know five or six i'm i'm just doing in little little batches there bulk shooting photos and then sitting down for a minute and uh so now right now we have listings scheduled up to here it's not that many though because a lot of these have dropped already because this is the date we're on so I'm going to be moseying on over to Friday here with my listings here in just a bit. Yeah, we need some stuff to drop tomorrow morning because hopefully we're going to be hitting some garage sales. So, right. Yeah. Yep. And then tomorrow, tomorrow hopefully we'll have enough time to work on some Saturday, Sunday listings. Yeah. It's hard. Like the first week is going to be the hardest. Yeah. Because we have to like get, Build up. Yeah. Uh, get ahead just a little as much as we can. And I don't expect us to have this many every half hour on the weekends sometimes. No, not maybe necessarily. just one an hour. No, on the weekends I'm thinking like ten, maybe ten listings each day. Yeah. And maybe even real easy listers. Just once an hour, maybe. Yeah. Having something drop. Just activity, yeah. right? What's so. going on with your phone there? Oh. <laughs> so I look I was taking photos. I left the phone just like that. I was taking photos of uh, records and I set my phone down here and I look over I look over here at my phone I'm like what is that it looks like a record label like uh, the center oh know? right yeah it does kind of and I'm like man what is that what is going on here and then I'm like oh wait a second that thing is taking a photo look it, it's that's inside of the drawer there's a dad joke in there right you can see through the wood through the hole oh <laughs> you knew that it just showed the punchline <laughs> so anyway i guess we have a couple of dad jokes to do huh okay okay, okay phone i'll read the dad jokes go like, come on lonnie okay okay candace lonnie how many ears does spock have three a right ear a left ear and i couldn't read the other part <laughs> oh you were reading it <laughs> <laughs> And a final frontier. Yeah, yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cheater. All right. That made my ear itch for some reason. <laughs> hey, Candace. Hey, Lonnie. Why should you never date a tennis player? Why? Because love means nothing to them. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh huh. You know, because love equals. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, hey, Candace. Hey, Lonnie. What do you call a magic dog? Oh god, this is bad. I think we might have done this one before. Is this some abracapoodle or something like yeah, that? Yeah, it's labra labracadabracador. Yeah, we've done something. that one before. Yeah, my bad. Sorry. Oh, okay. It's <laughs> just as funny the second time. I know. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping to get better. I'll try this again. I'll try this one. Man, I don't think I've read this one. Hey, Candace. Hey, Lonnie. What's the difference between a well-dressed man on a bicycle and a poorly dressed man on a unicycle? It really doesn't matter. That's a pretty good one. Um, attire. Oh, huh. I like that. Oh, huh. Ha. <laughs> if, somebody, if you tell a joke and somebody goes, ha, huh, that's not a real laugh. <laughs> now, these, that's a real laugh. For these jokes, that was a laugh. Her laughing at me calling her out her fake laugh was a real laugh. So, so that's good. <laughs> but we're going to, uh, we're going to get back to work and man i hope they have garage sales tomorrow candace the weather's supposed to be nice it's gonna be chillier but it's supposed to be clearer the next two days so well hopefully we can have a good really good garage sale weekend i'm optimistic yeah and hopefully in the next video we'll be able to show y'all some goodies we're hoping no yeah. promises though yeah. but thanks a bunch for watching we will see y'all again very soon bye y'all bye